Hi there, this is Srikanth Asari. So in this lesson, we are going to continue our uh, uh, studies on how to set up a, a MySQL database uh, such that we can work comfortably uh, from directly from the command prompt. Okay. So in the last lesson, uh, we have uh, done something like this. So first we have uh, uh, so make uh, first we have to make sure that uh, first we have to launch the XAMPP control panel here. Okay, so and then we had uh, make sure that we have started the MySQL uh, server on the XMPP control panel, and then uh, we have uh, gone to uh, command prompt. Uh, so until uh, this, uh, we have come in the last lesson, and we have did something like this, uh, like we have traversed until the path. Uh, so where the MySQL uh, installation sits here, so that's probably in uh, XAMPP uh, in the MySQL folder bin. So we have just uh, copied the entire uh, path. We have come back to our uh, the command prompt and we have changed the path to there. Okay. So and then uh, we have executed the MySQL command by saying the username minus u by using this command MySQL minus u root space hyphen p and press enter and password uh, for mysql installation by default is uh, blank okay so you can keep it blank and you are uh, up and running with uh, uh, mysql prompt here okay so if you want to come out of mysql uh, database uh, so mysql uh, command prompt and if normal uh, to come out of that and if you want to uh, go back to your dos prompt so you need to press uh, exit here Okay, so uh, let's close this uh, command window and also let's do the whole process once again. Uh, like uh, again, let me open this command prompt here. So, here, uh, so uh, all the time we are what we are doing is we are clearing the prompt here and then we are uh, uh, getting the path uh, from the installation uh, folders, uh, which is uh, obviously in uh, C drive. So, so go to C drive uh, in your system if you are having a Windows PC. So this is the process and you have an XAMPB folder and in that you have uh, a MySQL folder. Uh, successfully if you have installed uh, this XAMPB uh, all-in-one package. Uh, okay. So uh, if you properly install everything, uh, you need not uh, traverse, uh, uh, do all the steps which have which we have mentioned in the uh, previous lesson here. Okay. So directly what you can do is uh, directly you can say something like this mysql so minus u uh, space root and minus p enter and password is blank okay so if you observe uh, directly uh, it takes us to the mysql prompt here so not only from uh, there uh, if you close the command window once again and if you open it uh, so also directly uh, from your uh, my documents folder so currently the path shows to the my documents uh, folder here okay so directly also from here you can say something like this mysql minus u hyphen root uh, minus p enter and password is uh, blank for the default installation of uh, mysql okay so all this has been uh, possible uh, because uh, if you go to your uh, my computer start button and right click on the my computer uh, button and go to the properties so here you have uh, advanced system settings and there you have uh, environmental variables sorry environment variables and there uh, if you go to the path uh, and if you click edit here so uh, if you install uh, mysql properly uh, using um, xampp server or vamp server okay so there is another option uh, uh, like using a vamp server so whatever the installation uh, medium you choose uh, to get up and running with uh, mysql so automatically the path gets added to this environment variable section okay so unfortunately or uh, uh, when uh, by using the other kind of installation methods if you don't get the path uh, up till until here uh, so you need to make sure that uh, click on the edit uh, button uh, just go to path and click edit and then you have to, you need to make sure that uh, that that entire path has been specified here Okay, so by doing that, uh, the only advantage is uh, you can directly uh, come to your uh, 
command prompt and you need not uh, traverse do the whole repeated thing all the time so directly you can go to your command prompt and then you can uh, say something like this and directly you can uh, use that mysql command and you can log in uh, to the mysql prompt here okay so ysp and press enter enter okay so you're up and running with uh, mysql uh, if your installation is proper and uh, and make sure that uh, if you want to do uh, login directly using uh, uh, from wherever you are uh, in the prompt uh, you need to make sure that uh, your environment variable section here okay so advanced system settings uh, let me uh, tell once again click on the start button right click on the my computer properties and go to advanced system settings and then uh, environment variables and then uh, path click edit and then you make sure that you have that whole uh, uh, mysql installation uh, until bin in the environment variables section here okay so with that uh, you are up and running here up and running with mysql uh, directly uh, from anywhere uh, in the command prompt okay so let's test uh, uh, some command here uh, let's but that's what we have done in the last lesson also so databases so if you come uh, to do something like this uh, <laughs> and when a silly mistake here show database okay so it's checks and collects all the information regarding uh, all the databases schemas created in your uh, uh, existing already in your mysql installation okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to uh, make changes or uh, check whether your uh, environment variables uh, section consists of part of the mysql installation so that you can directly uh, enter into the mysql prompt uh, from anywhere in the uh, from any point in the command prompt okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye